get and the more experience we have going through life, the more we realize that, hey, life happens. Some situations don't end happily. Well, yeah, I think we can all attest to that one, right? Um, that's life. A lot of things don't end happily. If you, if you choose to do the work, if you are committed to making your life the life you want, if you're committed to saying no to being around negative things, negative people, uh, negative situations, just things in general that bring you down, it will ease up because you'll start to think more positive. You'll start to feel happier and that pain goes away. I literally had this conversation with my psychiatrist, Dr. Mack, the other day, how disturbing it is that we allow ourselves after being harmed by someone to continue to be around that harmful person. No, never again. I choose to never tolerate that again in my life. Absolutely break the cycle. Tip. Why would I want to be around that person? Why would I want a family member to be around that person? That is something that nobody talks about. And it's a big deal. Be around more positive people. Be around people that make me feel good, people that inspire me, people that we need to give us a boost, people to encourage us. It makes the world a difference. Since I'm living on my own, I have stepped back from a lot of people. Now I choose my friends carefully. I choose the people I spend my time with carefully. I don't waste my energy. I will be there when someone needs to vent, but I won't let them drain me. And for me, it's working. If anyone can relate to this, send me a message on Instagram, Susie with a Z podcast show.